Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're going to talk about one of the pieces in the fire control puzzle, and that is the actual triggers to the 16-inch guns. This is a Mark 41 stable vertical. And it's one of 11 places on the battleship you can fire the 16-inch guns from. This would be the primary place here in forward plot. There's another one of these in aft plot. You can cross connect to the stable elements for the five inch guns. Uh, going all the way down this line, uh, you can even tie a lanyard to the hammer at the breech of the gun as if it's real old timey artillery and you can fire it that way. Uh, so th that is method number 11 as you're going down the track. This little thing revolutionized how American battleships look. We've just calculated a super precise firing solution on an enemy ship using our Mark 8 range keeper, the fire control computer that aims at the enemy ship. Super accurate. The problem is that ships as firing platforms are inherently not stable. We're on the ocean, we're, we're rocking, pitching, and rolling. So these ships are moving in three dimensions, and while the computer has given us a precise firing solution from zero degrees, if we roll a little bit, now that shell is going hundreds of yards off course. And we don't know what corrections to put in the computer, because what of that was putting in the wrong input in the first place that needs to be corrected, and what of that was the ship's own pitching and rolling. On older American dreadnoughts, the solution to this was the after mast. You guys uh, all know what the battleship Arizona looked like. You notice that she has a forward fire control position and an aft fire control position. Those are the superstructures that are on top of the tripod masts. Typically, how that is used is the forward one looks at the enemy ship and finds the range. The aft one looks at the horizon and measures how much the ship is rolling so that you can judge that perfectly. This has a couple of problems. One, the poor sailor who's doing this gets seasick very easily. And two, the after fire control position is uh, often covered in smoke from your own smokestack. So those guys are also choking out while they're in there. Another issue is originally that second tower was built as the redundancy. If somebody shoots away your forward tripod, we've got an after one that you can use as a redundancy. And then during the interwar period, they figure out that their gunnery becomes more accurate if they're accounting for the ship's roll. Pretty obvious. But as soon as the United States enters World War II, you notice that all of the standard type battleships lose their aft mast. Why were they able to sacrifice that to get better arcs of fire for their AA guns? Because this had been developed and installed. The, the Mark 41 has a gyroscope in it that you can access on the side here. That is the stable element that can sense how much the ship is pitching and rolling. So when we want to fire at a target, what the gunner would do is grab these two triggers. You notice there's three triggers here. I'll talk you through them in a second. One of them is smooth. The other one we call the pineapple. It's got uh, some studs on it, so you can tell that that's the trigger you're supposed to pull. When you're about to fire the guns, the first thing you do is pull this trigger, the left hand most trigger, three times. That sounds an alarm throughout the ship that warns them we're about to fire the guns. The next thing you do is you pull this center trigger, the pineapple, and hold it down. Nothing happens right away. The reason for that is there are actually two open circuits in the firing key. Closing this, pulling the trigger, closes one circuit. The other circuit is controlled by the gyroscope. And the gyroscope doesn't allow that to close so the signal can be sent to the gun to fire until it has sensed the ship has rolled back to level. 
This is especially important in Iowa class battleships because we have an extremely high length to beam ratio. We're very narrow and very long, which means that we're going to roll more than say a shorter, stubbier battleship like Arizona that has a really low length to beam ratio. So I hold this down until the stable vertical allows the firing circuit to close when it's sensed we've returned to level. Now, remember, it wouldn't be a Navy ship without redundancy. This has um, moving parts. It can fail. So this right-hand firing key, and that is your manual um, bypass. That just closes the firing circuit right away without worrying about the stable vertical. Odds are, if you've sustained enough damage in combat that uh, this isn't functioning anymore, you're close enough that the roll of the ship isn't going to matter too much. How much redundancy do you think is too much? Battleships are infamous for having a backup for a backup, but 11 different places you can fire the guns for is excessive even for that. How many do you think we should have? Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and our museum. Thanks for watching.